Have you ever wanted to do an ollie so high that you could give Neil Armstrong a kiss in space? What about realistic ragdolls? How about giving Coach Frank's absolute dumpster truck some jiggle physics? Okay, maybe not that last one. But all of these things are possible with Skate 3 mods. On PC, there's a bunch of mods that you can use. Today, I'll be focusing on one mod in particular, the Skate 3 native mod menu, developed and put together by these awesome people. So to open up the mod menu, it's right stick, you just press that in and left on your D-pad, and you have the Skate 3 native menu running. It's pretty cool, you have a bunch of different sections for the mods. So for starters, this is just the base ollie, and if I changed it by 1, you could already see how much height I'm getting. So if I wanted to put it at 30, you get absolutely sent flying, as if you did a late foot bounce. I can change my jump height as well to 30. So if I wanted to get an ollie that's lower, you can also change it to the negatives. This is what it's like to jump at negative 10. So next up we have plant height. So if I do a foot plant, it changes my height like that. So everybody knows the regular backwards man speed glitch. So if I just simply do a foot plant, I get sent flying. To the equivalent of a backwards man speed glitch. You can change your hippie jump to a 30 height. So tornado spin speed, if I put it at 30, I want to get from this point all the way to those trees over there. With glide speed, you could now get sent flying if you set it to 30. Let's say you're a score chaser. You could change your spin speed and you could just... <laughs> I actually have no clue what this does. Now, negative 10, I'm very curious to see what the... Oh, <laughs> oh my god. This looks awful. Flip speed. So if I were to do a backflip, <laughs> glide turn speed. So sometimes when you turn when gliding, it's not super fast, but this will change that. I really don't know what this is, so I'm super excited. So I'm going to set it to 10. <laughs> okay, that's what it does. So your head just completely breaks. <laughs> This one is wild. I also don't know what this one does either, but if I were to guess, it changes the length of your arms. Oh, <laughs> it, it, it does not do that. It, it instead does this. Okay. <laughs> so that's everything in just the adjustable section, by the way. Let's move on to toggleables. So if I were to jump and just get on my board, I'd take absolutely no fall damage from any height that I land from. This is the Foot Plant Forever mod. If I have the Foot Plant Forever mod on, I can literally Foot Plant Forever. So when you do the late flip bounce, if you go high enough, you actually get reset because there's an air timer. But if you enable the no air timer, you can get sent flying as high as you want and you won't ever reset. Whoa. Oh fuck. That's another thing. Some of these mods really fuck with these AI skaters. So if I enable this setting and I just start walking off of something, I essentially can walk on air. And if I disable it, I just fall down. Simple as that. Now this one is my favorite setting because if you have it enabled, you can do a dart catch and you won't ever fall down. You can just start sliding. Same thing with tail walks, you just bounce. And this one's actually really fun. Fly mode. Now this one's also really sick because if I wanted to, I could just stay floating and I could fly wherever I wanted to. And it's super cool. You just gotta be careful because you will eventually get lost realistic ragdolls. Now this setting is really sick because if you ragdoll, you just start bailing like this. It's actually really funny. Double tricks. This setting is super sick. So if I do a tray flip, I can do another tray flip. And now I don't know why the board is doing this. Okay, so I figured something out. If the mods ever get fucky and you can't fix your skater, now my board is a little bit messed up. So what you could do instead is go to free play choose your skater and the board is going to be still messed up but if you go to resume career it resets your board now on to the visual mods so for the visual mods the first thing we have is no dynamic shadows which literally just removes the shadows from any kind of person let's say you hit a really sick clip but there's a lot of visual clutter if you see the l3 to show and the little camera lens you can actually remove those things with the clean replays now this one is called mute environment it crashed my game. <laughs> there's the birds chirping in the background. There's a lot going on. There's cars passing by. So if I do mute environment, it gets rid of a lot of that. So you can kind of hear the board a little bit more crisp now. There is some... What? <laughs> Oh yeah, baby, brightness. Now, I'm very curious, if I put this all the way- Oh, 
we could go negatives and you can already see it changing. This is negative 10. You just get particles. <laughs> That's actually really sick. I have some ideas for this. Okay, here's my idea. Oh. Oh my god. That is so bright. <laughs> It'd be super interesting to see stuff like this in Skate 4. So you could put on a red filter. This actually looks really cool. <laughs> the green filter is also pretty sick. Oh, this looks sick. <laughs> this is what After Dark needs to be. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, there's more filters. So there's pink as well. Cyan. It kind of looks like that one Minecraft block. Yellow. Black. <laughs> Holy fuck. Did we do the same trick? In white. So if I turn this all the way to 10, oh, my skater becomes a ghost. What about other skaters? Yeah, other skaters too. See Chris Cole over here? Dude, what is your problem? Oh, and this is 20 transparency. Holy fuck. Score multiplier. I have to see what happens if I put this at 30. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, this is sick. You can make it really bright when you skate. And this is 10. Oh my god, this looks this looks gorgeous for Skate 3. It gives kind of like a Skate 2 feel. <laughs> and this is negative 10. Oh my god. Put this all the way to 10. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> Holy dude. What if I put him at negative 10? <laughs> it's just a floating camera. Oh, you could make this... <laughs> this is like that one mob boss meme. Ooh, this one fucks me up. <laughs> this one is crazy. Red. Oh, this looks sick. Blue. Oh, pink is sick. Cyan. Yeah, we need more colors like this, man. Oh, white is so sick. And black. Red. Oh, man, that makes the trees in the background. This looks like it could be on like Gravity Falls, man. What is Scuffed Sky RGB? Oh, this looks like it could be like a cover of a movie or something. Monster House 2. <laughs> Can I skate this? Oh my god. It reminds me of that one shark. You got your average late kick flips. What about late tray flips? Or late three shoves? Or even better, late Nolly 360 inward heel flips. <laughs> now if I get into a 50-50, I, I, I go into a coffin. Oh my god. You ever wanted your tray flips to be just slow? <laughs> Let's just see how long a tray flip actually takes to complete. Wow, this is a tray flip at 2 speed. And that's pretty much all the mod has to offer. It's a super sick mod menu, man. And again, huge shout out to the people who made this mod. 